everyone, this is Andre with Garage Door Guidance once more. Uh, got another video for you today. And in today's video, we are just replacing the plastic pulley piece on the end of our pre-bought garage door opener. Replacing this piece on this particular motor is going to be the same as changing it on like a belt driven one, a chain driven one, um, made by Chamberlain. And these are the ones purchased from Home Depot or, um, or the likes, Lowe's, you know, Costco. They will all have a similar um, plastic pulley on the end. And so just wanted to show you guys how to do that because I know sometimes this part will run into that, crack it, or break it, and so that causes an issue. And I'll show you actually how to prevent that as well. Well, actually, let's just start off with that right away. To prevent that, they actually have this part right here. Um, so if you were actually to pick this up like that, now that's sticking up, so even if this did manage to come up all the way to the front, it would actually run into this rather than cracking your plastic pulley. However, if that's too late for you and you still need to replace the pulley, this video is for you. If you do need that part or a similar part, I will link down the models and the pulleys down below. The one I'm working with today is for uh, a model that has the cable running through it. The model I'm working with is an HD 420EV. That's a Chamberlain chain driven. Like I said, that's a cheaper one, so it does have the cable. And so any of them with the cable will have this particular pulley. And so I'll link that below. Uh, there's one that's just a chain all the way around. I'll link that one. And then also for the belt driven one as well. I'll link all three of those below. First step is you do have to loosen the tension here. So the way you do that is you get either a half inch socket on an impact gun like I do, or you could do a wrench if your socket doesn't reach into here which luckily for me, it does. Just like that. So now you can see this is all very loose. And so, so much so that I can even just pick up that cable here and remove it from the pulley. So now the cable's free and so is the pulley. Uh, if the pulley has been broken, obviously it's not even going to be around it. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, so now, that we have that off. Next step is obviously we're looking at the top of the garage door opener. Underneath it, you have uh, this bolt runs through the pulley and the rail. So underneath that, you have a 9 16th bolt and nut along with the washer there. So you do have to remove that in order to actually access the pulley. Um, so obviously it's a little easier for me, it might be a little tougher for you, but just get a wrench or a socket and remove that one. Just so you know where it's at, I will flip this to the side. So you'll see that's where that um, 9 16 nut is. So what you do is just remove that. Just push the little bolt out. Take your pulley out and you're good to go. Again, this is the part uh, I'm working with this for the cable. You can see how thin that is. A chain isn't really going to sit in there or a belt. So this is the part I have and uh, I'm working with today. Again, I'll have the chain one uh, or the belt one linked below as well as this one here. To put it back on, just repeat similar process. Since I have it on the side, I'll work with it how it is. So what I like to do is put the cable belt or chain into the loop uh, or into the groove of the pulley. Just place it like so. so now it's kind of holding that. You grab your bolt, just right through, and you see that slid through the hole. So now it's back in place. Obviously, this is going to be the new part. Just put your nut back on, tighten it up. So now the pulley is replaced with obviously a new one if you needed it. So all you gotta do is just tighten up that half inch nut back into place, back where it was. And you are back in business. So that's pretty much it for the video. If you have any questions for me, leave it in the comments below. If you did like the video or if it was helpful, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. That way you can keep up to date on all the videos I do post. Um, again, I do have those parts linked in the description if you need them. Uh, along with our parts page on garagedoorguidance.com where you can find remotes and all kinds of other parts for your openers or your garage door. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in my next video.